Hello everyone, Abhishek here. Today's topic is how to get started with SOAP UI. So first we are going to discuss how to create a SOAP request and we will discuss all the details around it and in future we are going to discuss about the REST request as well. Okay. So launch your SOAP UI tool. Here for creating a SOAP project, first you will have different options in the headers here. You can create an empty project, you can create a SOAP project. If you will click on this file, you will again find the same options to create an empty project or new SOAP project. Since we are just discussing about SOAP project right now, we will only discuss about these options. So you can, you can click on empty and it will give you something like this and right click here and it will give you option to add WSDL. WSDL is something which is used for SOAP project. So if you will click on this, you can enter your WSDL location here. Now what is WSDL? WSDL stands for Web Services Description Language and in case of SOAP, it follows a certain specification a format of xml based service so that's why whenever we are working with soap based project we need to use a wsdl while in case of rest it is something different which we are going to discuss in future videos okay so you will be able to find one particular url which you can use for wsdl location here so uh, i have one url a pretty simple uh, url which uh, does the calculator functions so this is the particular link Otherwise, if you want to work with more URLs, you can search for the sample WSDL file for testing and you'll be able to find a lot of different options. So we are going to use this file. So I'll just copy this link and you'll come here and you can click on this. You can just paste here and click on OK. So what will happen is this will load the entire project. OK, so this is the first way. Now, same thing. If you will click on file, click on empty project, the same navigation would be there. Now, second thing is. If you are sure that this is a SOAP project and you want to start with SOAP, you can just click on SOAP and it will give you something like this. Okay. Similar option you can do from file and then create a SOAP project. Okay. Now here, in case of initial WSDL, you paste that particular URL and you will be able to see here the project name gets auto-populated. This you can update as well or if you can, if you want, you can leave it as it is. I'll, I, I, I can just write calculator 1. Just update this cal later one and I'll click on OK and it will load the entire project again. Okay, so this is uh, another way by soap, and this was with empty. So we only need one. I'll just remove another one. We don't want to save the project here. In case of calculator, here if you'll notice, you'll see that there are two versions one is calculator soap and one is calculator soap 12. So ideally these two are created because there are two different SOAP versions 1.1 and 1.2 so that's why two are created for our uh, in beginners video we don't need to work with this so we'll delete this we can discuss in future about what these two different version means or you can look over the internet as well so that's why these two are created now here if you'll take a look at this you'll be able to see different functions add divide multiply subtract are there okay now it will depend on whatever SOAP request is there based on that uh, the request would be available here now if i click on this add you're able to see one particular request is there and here you will be able to see soap okay now if i double click on this here you'll be able to see let me uh, maximize this so you can maximize using this now here you'll be able to see two sections okay one is your request this is your request section now whenever you send this request you'll be able to see a response here you'll be able to see two things called raw and xml and here once you send the response again you will be able to see raw and xml okay now as we understand here that uh, this particular request is adding two numbers right so here if you will take a look at this it is following a certain format of xml base so it is giving envelope and then there is a header and then there is a body okay now here i'll just put two integers let's put uh, five and let's put six okay now in order to run or send this request, you click on this green icon and this will start sending the request. Now, in case of raw format, you are able to see that we got 200 OK. So that means the request went successfully. The moment I click on XML, you will be able to see the response body in this format. Okay, where we are getting a function called add result, which gives 11, which is adding correctly our two numbers 5 and 6. Let's just update this to 10. And just again validate this again i'll click on this and this will this should give us 50. so it is working fine similar way divide is there multiply is there subtract is there 
let me click on multiply and let's give 5 and 5 and just click on the send and it will give us 25 so click on XML and it is giving us the response correctly now this is one of the most basic SOAP request with which we have worked and understood that how do we send request and how do we get the responses in the future videos we are going to discuss uh, more about how to set up the test uh, what all different properties and later on in the future videos we are going to discuss about how to automate this as well using Groovy scripting and all as well uh, but that pretty much sums up the first basic request to work with SOAP UI uh, let me know how you found this video and uh, do like share and subscribe